Welcome to another Professor Pinball Creation. This is showing an update to the Pinduino code for Tron. This game has two Pinduinos. One is controlling a set of addressable LEDs down each one of the ramps. Right now you can see that in a sparkle mode where we're putting up these blue lights that slowly fade. And then there's a second, address, uh, second Pinduino that's controlling addressable LEDs that have replaced the standard GI. So the GI is fully color controlled, as well as another set of LEDs that are along the apron and on the back panel of the play field. Um, this is an update to old code that I had written for the previous version of the Pinduino. Um, this one is, a, I think it's a nice sweet update. Done a lot of work over the year in terms of new features and new functions for lighting effects. So, um, if I remember after this game, I'll show you how these Pinduinos are connected to the power driver board. They basically plug straight into J6 and J7 and monitor flasher activities, and then you can easily write custom code to do all sorts of neat effects based on what's happening um, during gameplay. So let's start up a game, show you what this looks like. So now that I hit the arcade scoop, we're going to get an arcade flash, which will go ahead and start some lighting effects. You can see the GI changing, get some nice effects on the ramps. There's a core shot. Ah, oh, I missed my multi-ball and my end of line. Ah, oh, well, quick first ball, but at least I got a uh, light cycle multi-ball lit. Maybe I'll get lucky and plunge right in. Nope. And it's your lucky day. I'm Kasta, your host. Let's move. Now this I can do. There's our light cycles. Tron is such an amazing game. Not the deepest rule set, but fast, satisfying gameplay. Wonderful design by Borg. Oh, quick on that front. And now I got some Zeus going, so my light cycle is over. Um, See if we can get some other multi balls going. There we go. Nice end of line jackpot. I was able to get Zeus finished. And Clue. Didn't get much luck on, on Light Cycle. This going. Oh. So when the disc is going, I uh, have replaced the um, the GI from being blue, uh, as well as the ramps, over to a nice red, orange set of colors. Um, let you know that you're in a different state of the game. And um, as this gets going, it'll probably eventually switch back over to blue. as we start making some progress here. quick game to Tron, but definitely got a chance to show off some of the cool lighting effects. And as the game goes into the final mode and the flashers go one last time, gives you some nice lighting effects just to let you know um, some of the cool stuff that you can do in the game. So I have to say this is a, a really fun set of code. It is all open source and available on my GitHub account. You can get more details about this on Pinside.